Okay, so next we're going to go a step further with classes and we're going to use a previous exercise you worked on in HTML. This exercise is called Favorite Things and we are going to use CSS to stylize our table of favorites that we created back in HTML. Okay, so you can grab your starter code from the previous exercise by opening up this link at a new tab. And let's copy that first and then go over the instructions. Okay, so we created this in the last unit. Remember, I just filled my table in for Sunday, but your table should be filled in with um, favorite things and activities, etc., to do each day. So I'm just going to copy all of this code since we're going to need it. And back in our favorite things exercise, let's go over the instructions. So our job is we want to use CSS to make the table of favorites easier to read. Remember, when you have a table, it can be a lot of information to look at at once. So it helps to have some colors in there, alternating, um, preferably with good contrast so that it's easier to visually um, process and, and take in and read. Okay, so we're going to add a header class to the first row where we're going to style it with a background color of olive, a text color of white, and then we're going to center a line. So this will be the final result. In all of the odd rows, which are the first, third, and fifth, we're going to use a sandy brown color. In the even rows, second and fourth, we're going to have this Indian red. Okay, so here is the um, style rule we need to add to adjust our table width and font family. Okay, so we are going to delete this placeholder text by just pasting our code over it. Let's run it to make sure it's all there. Excellent. Okay, so that was the HTML unit, so it's missing that style sheet. We're going to have to go ahead and create the embedded style sheet with the opening and closing style tag. Okay, we need to first add in this table rule to our style sheet. This will adjust the width of our style sheet and change the font family inside of it. So I believe this is a new property we're learning, font family, which you can use to adjust the font in whatever tag or class you're styling. Okay, so next we need to work on the header row. So for the header row, we're going to give it a class of header. Remember to assign a class, all you need is the class attribute and the name of the class, which is header, okay? And we are going to write a rule for that class. So back in the style sheet, we will start with the period symbol and the name of the class, the background color is olive drab, the color of the text is white, and we want to center it inside of the cell. So the property is text align, that dash is necessary, so don't forget that. Your property should all turn purple. If they're not purple, then um, that's a sign that something may be off. So text align, the value is center. All right, let's just run that to see how things are looking. Okay, so, so far so good. Um, our header row looks all right. Okay, now we are going to find our odd rows and give them a background color of sandy brown. Okay, so this is where we really see uh, classes used in their typical fashion. Again, classes, generally you have multiple tags in a class. And the way I like to remember that is you can have multiple students in a class. So multiple students in a class, you can have multiple tags in a class. So the odd row classes are just class equals odd dash row. Okay, that's going to be the same thing for all of the odd rows, so I'm just going to copy that. So the first row, the third row, and first, third, okay. So we'll just leave it at the first and third since that is the only thing that um, we have in our table right now. And then we will write a rule for that, so it's going to be dot odd row and the background color should be sandy brown okay so let's run that looks good okay so your job you're gonna 
do the same thing for the even rows. The class is going to be even row. And then I'm challenging you to create a style rule for the even row class with a background color of Indian red. All right, any questions, leave them down below.